Organic chemistry is known to be a really challenging subject. You probably heard the infamous stories of people getting super low averages, 25%, 15%, sometimes you know, 45%. The reason is, is organic chemistry is just a lot of material to remember. It's all a memorization game. So my job is to make it as easy as humanly possible to understand all these organic chemistry topics. So in this series, I want to go over every single topic as slow as possible and provide many practice examples. With those practice examples, I'm not just going to do the easy ones that you would see on any other YouTube channel. I want to also go over the hard ones because I bet this has happened to you at least some point in your life that you look at, you go on YouTube, you see all these easy problems, then you go to the exam, you're like, wow, this is much harder than I thought it would be. I practice all these easy ones and then, oh, here comes a hard one on the exam. I have no idea how to do it. I am going to combat that issue. I am also going to give you hard problems and I will show you how to solve them. If you can solve the hard ones, you can certainly solve anything on the exam. Organic chemistry is made up of roughly 25 different chapters. If you're on a semester system at your college, you'll probably do half of it in one semester and the second half the following semester. If you're in a quarter system, you'll do one third followed by the second third and then the last third. Why is organic chemistry important? Why, you actually, why do you need to learn this? Well, look around. Everything around you is made up of carbon. And organic chemistry is basically the chemistry of carbon, as well as some other atoms. Medications are all about organic chemistry. So let's actually look at this molecule here. This looks really complicated. By the end of probably like, let's say, uh, let's say like chapter three, you'll be able to understand this. What is this? What is this methyl 1R2R3S5S3 benzoloxy 8 methyl 8 azobicyclooctane 2 carboxylate? What does all this mean? This is cocaine. <laughs> I'm not joking, this is cocaine. Cocaine is all about organic chemistry. All the drugs out there, if you watch Breaking Bad, that's all organic chemistry. By the end of this, you'll be actually, you will be able to have all the information to actually synthesize methamphetamine. I do not recommend you do it. Please do not. But you will have all the necessary knowledge to do so. Let's see about other stuff. I can tell you, after this course, I can tell you how cancer, you'll understand how cancer is caused. You'll understand how MRI machines work. You'll actually understand how your clothes are made. There's something, something called esters. It's a functional group. If you've seen on your t-shirt, on the label, you probably read polyester. Poly means many and ester is the functional group. So your t-shirt is made up of many esters. I'll also teach you how soap is made. Everything in this world is basically organic chemistry. That's why it's really interesting. Well, I find it interesting. So let's go over the, what every chapter is. So first is molecular representations. You need to understand how to actually draw molecules in organic chemistry. There's many ways of doing it. The bond line structure is probably the most common. Then you have acid bases. You have to go with the, over the mechanism of acid bases. Then we got alkanes. Then you got sterile isomers, which is a way of basically drawing the same molecule in different ways. Then you got mechanisms. Mechanisms is what scares people. That is where a lot of people, they usually people, okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the general story. People usually do well on these two, four topics. And then when they get to mechanisms, everything goes downhill. My job is to make sure that does not happen. You need to stay at that A range for the entire chapters, for all the chapters. Then we've got nucleophilic substitution and elimination reactions. Those are your bread and butter of organic chemistry right there. 
Then we got alkenes, and then alkynes. Then we got radicals. This is how cancer is caused. Then we got synthesis, which is probably the hardest thing in organic chemistry. Synthesis is basically how do you get from step A to step, let's say, D, and you have to fill in all the stuff in the middle. So how do you, what's step B, what's step C, and, all, and et cetera. That's what mechanisms are. That's what synthesis is. Then you've got alcohols and phenols. Then you've got ethers, epoxides, styles, and sulfides. Then you've got probably the worst part of organic chemistry is mass spec. IR, NMR, and HNMR. This is, we kind of deviate from the typical organic chemistry you would see here, and it's all about graphs and data and tables and all that stuff. A lot of people do not like this. I am one of those people. I mean, I understand it, but I just do not, I don't enjoy, let me be honest, I don't enjoy doing it. And about 90% of people do not either. This is how MRIs work, by the way. And then you got conjugated pi systems. Then we got aromatic compounds. This is an aromatic group right there. That's a benzene ring. Aromatic substitution, aldehydes and ketones. Then we've got carboxic acids and derivatives. Then we've got alpha carbon and enols and enolates, amines, organic metallic compounds. And then probably the most fun, I think, are carbs, amino acids, polymers, and lipids. That's when you actually get into the fun stuff. And you really start understanding where all of this comes into real life. But we have a long way to get there, because notice it's like chapter 22. We have to cover 21 chapters before that. So we have a long way to go. But we're going to take it slow, because like I said, the main goal is to make sure you get an A. I do not want to fail you, and I don't want to see a C or a D or an F on your organic chemistry test. I want to see that A. Let's change how organic chemistry is taught. Because I'm not going to lie, a lot of professors are not great at organic chemistry, at teaching organic chemistry at least. It's time to change that. And hopefully with this series, you'll join me and we can experience it together. So, if you are interested in this series or the other stuff I teach which so far as physiology and biochemistry, please like and subscribe. And yeah, until next time. Later.